So we created our animation object, we created our camera uh, pre-handed following this object to creating kind of in and out effect. Um, overall terrains, it does not look bad, actually I like how it's look. Um, we can add more details and I'm not sure if I want to even add water, I think it's look just very fine without water. We could go out and add a lake and some transparency to the water um, so we can see reflection of the object but I won't be um, animating water and mostly what I find out when we animate water or animated clouds in this our movements is too fast to even notice any changes so to save some of the rendering time we will create clouds but we won't animate them because they will be already moving as our camera moving so let's um, see zoom out a little bit on this one and we'll go to create a um, lake right now okay right here let's disable our atmospheric lighting effects so I can preview and we'll go inside the water and we'll just go and add a lake you'll notice it's added quite a bit big size I don't necessarily want this so let's reduce make little bit smaller maybe even smaller right here it's too small maybe 10,000 will be just about right right around here okay and we can also bring top just to create right in this area so we'll need to bring um, height a little bit water level a little bit higher okay 133 maybe actually let's go try 50 yeah it's about right 50 maybe even 10 meters from the so we can see just a little bit going I think that is look nice let's go to current render so right here we have it yeah so we can see some effect and maybe even more maybe 15 okay let's go now just to move around be sure okay yeah we can see reflections Okay, we'll go right around there and see. And we're going to curve. So right here we're going to leave it too high. So we could bring a little bit more water there. But I th it will be a little bit too far anyway to see reflections. So I think that will be look very nice. Okay. So as I said before, we don't need to worry too much about animation this water. But let's work also add some of the atmosphere and uh, specifically clouds. So we'll go right here and notice in the Terrigen 4 we have a nice presets. So it saves a lot of time by just selecting specific and um, like clouds mineral camera. So it's already placed it for me. So make much to preview and adjust okay so we go there and I want to also add a high level and let's go also on our lighting um, notice we could animate also our sunlight and right here we have our animation so we can actually increase or decrease but again in this case I don't necessarily want to do this I want just to bring just leave it elevation down Maybe 19 okay so we can create a little bit more sun shadish with shadows a little bit longer shadows we'll create this way okay and it's creating right there and I want preview when we come almost to the end so we can see right here some of the clouds okay so we have nice clouds 
let's uh, ray tracing preview so we can see a little bit better on those clouds and they actually come up very nicely maybe just a little bit too many of them so i think we can go ahead and take some of those clouds and reduce the density slightly down those clouds already reduce density um, notice we could actually modify some of those almost any of the properties of our clouds we can also modify um, color of the clouds make them darker or same the cloud density so for example if we go and increase the density currently you can see in a second it's much much more dense on the cloud so we can animate this effect and actually you know what let's do this just as we experiment with animations let's do that so we'll go on a beginning and we'll go to set animation key for our density okay and we'll just as we're going to the last frame we'll just take our density and just increase slightly and we'll set animation key as well so you can see how easy it is right there you can see we're animating density and we can also animate all other properties of our um, clouds okay so I think we overall ready to make our final animations for this um, type of the scenery again this is kind of introduction to the animation settings how we can set maps and all other effect how we can tweak around that Okay, so to do this, let's go back to our render properties. Okay, we'll go right there. We'll open the render properties. And depend on what size you want to render. I will keep it the current size and well maybe you know what, let's go do um thousand nine hundred by ten eighty. So we go high def um settings okay let's log resolution will pop up our quality uh, i don't want eight but we'll do a little bit increase in quality again this is very important if you need speed up some of your render you need don't need go as high as you want it and in some cases for the motion what we're going to create they won't be that visible because it will kind of start blurring or the motion is applied we just speak about blur motion so we'll enable as well blur motion and we want to 3d because we have it in elements where it's going in a z or away from the camera so we want to do this um i don't want to set depth of field at this point because we will already have it enough blur motion inside but depth of field work very well if we do like macro or other things that will work very well okay we'll ray tracing we don't need crop uh i don't want anti-asking blooming on water because again we will moving so we'll leave it that one same as atmosphere blooming or um starburst from the sun or other effect like lens flare so we can enable them but it's already will be a little bit too much however we could do just you know make a very small ones option so they won't be overwhelmed just a little bit something there okay however enable those options will increase a li little bit our render time okay we have it a maximum 364 based on the processor so this is good um, size of cache and megabyte we could increase and again it's based on how much in your computer so i have it a little bit more so we can increase this but i won't leave it as default for the tutorial okay we'll leave it all as advanced properties here um pre-pass padding i think that will be just fine as default again and our sequences we leave it inside and just only let's go just rename it so I know which one so what okay we'll just render here our options I will still probably go with 8-bit 
Um, we don't want any compression, so I want a little bit better resolution on this case. We'll go click OK. And we have one sequence, 240, last one. So we'll look at 240, one sequence. And I think this is all ready. But before we click this render button, notice above we have an animation check. And this is a very good bonus in <laughs> Terragen 4 that help us don't forget everything we want it to be perfect for our animation. So if we click, you'll notice right here, have it notice come up and it says detail blending, detail juggling, force all ages. Those parameters are not ideal. So we can actually change by clicking yes and it will be applied changes. So now when we verify it, it's okay. So it does set, um, we can go inside is manually set those properties, but if we apply animation check, it does preset them specifically optimizing for our animation. So I think we're doing good in this case. And you know what, actually a little bit still too dark on the end right here. So let me take cloud density, reduce a little bit, as well as edge sharpness maybe. And I will set key animation for cloud density. I don't care about edge sharpness in this case. Just a little bit brighter, I like it. Okay. So we'll set and let's go ahead and click render sequence. So I'm going to pause this tutorial and uh, resume when render is completed. Okay, so our animation finished rendering and uh, I am imported those DF files inside the Adobe Premiere. So right here you can see we already created our animation. We have a nice uh, motion blur applied. And we also have a nice light bloom and you can see some effects of the sun going around and like right here for example you can see kind of very nice flare of the sun coming a nice blur on the water um, bloom on the water as well if you look back in some areas we have a motion blur applied of course this is not the very high settings this is just a basic render so we have it motion blur can apply a little bit better as well we can create an additional mask and process it in different applications but overall you can see we have a reflection and water come up very nicely nice shadows okay and again for the time it took its render even with the settings it took a little bit time but overall it's come up nice animations and i hope it was kind of learning some of the principle of setup animations, how you can work with Windows animation window and other curves and keyframes. And uh, we'll go a little bit more in details on more animations on the clouds, water, and some other properties and also rendering properties in other tutorials.